In this tutorial, you'll learn how to approve or reject content that your client has submitted. You will need to have published a request and submitted some content as if you were a client. So those are the previous two tutorials. If you haven't taken those yet, make sure you go back and watch those. But assuming you've already done that, let's take a look at how that submitted content shows up for you. So back at the request dashboard here, you can see the request is now showing as a colorful card. That means that some action is required from you. So let's click this button to review request. This view is really similar to what your clients see. Everything works pretty much the same way. You can use the buttons and scroll through the request as you like, but you'll notice there are a few extra controls here. So first, the most obvious are the buttons to approve and reject, and we'll get to those in a second. Uh, you can also see some options at the top here, like compact view, which reduces the space between questions, which can make it easier to review a lot of items quickly. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as the normal view. The process of approving content is pretty simple. You scroll through the request just like your client would, and then you have the option to approve or reject individual items. So we look at the person's name, they've entered it here. That looks right, so we approve it. When you approve it, clients can no longer make changes to this answer. If for some reason you change your mind, you can always remove the approval to take it back to the same state it was in before. But I'm gonna approve that again. Now let's scroll down to the second item. And let's pretend that this answer isn't what we were looking for from our client. Let's say we want the full company name and this is the shortened one. So we'd click reject and describe what they should do to fix the answer. Once you've typed that in, click reject field. Your client would have just received an email asking them to come back in and change the answer. The field is also highlighted in yellow and it displays your message to them. Now go ahead and play around with approving and rejecting fields before moving on to the next video.